students today we are going to discuss about microgametogenesis what is the process of microgametogenesis it is the formation of microgamete or male gametes from a microspore or pollen grain it is always developed after formation of microsporogenesis uh, or formation of microspore so here you see this is the first a diagram shows the structure of a pollen grain it consists of a nucleus and it consists of two wall outer wall is called exine inner wall is called intine and it is the cytoplasm of pollen grain and some vehicles are also present and between the two wall there are some jump pores are present jump pores means these are some kinds of passes or gap that helps to formation of pollen tube next here you see when the pollen grain is fully mature it is uh, divided into two unequal cells the larger cells with greater number of cytoplasm large nucleus is called tube cell or vegetative cell and the smaller cell with small number of nucleus that is called generative cell so the this nucleus is divided unequally into two cells larger cell is called the uh, vegetative or tube cell and smaller cell is called generative cell after that in the c diagram you see here the uh, wall between the two nucleus or two cells dissolve and this nucleus that is the generative nucleus is divided uh, considerably to form two male gametes so sometime in this stage sometime in this stage here you see d diagram here in this stage the pollen grain are shed sometime in two stage two cell stage or sometime in three cell stage so in 60% of the angiosperm they liberated in this two cell stage the pollen grain are dispersed for pollination in this stage and in 40% of angiosperm plants they are uh, dispersed in three cell stage so in c diagram the generative cell um, wall dissolved and the nuclei divided into two male gamete here we found that the tube nucleus is found at the tip and through the germ pore a gap is formed and the cytoplasm with a tube like portion emerges from the pollen and tube so the gen gen vegetative cell helps in the formation of the pollen tube why it is necessary because during the fertilization the male gamete must reach to the female reproductive organ and so their male and female gamete are fused together so for the migration or the liberation of the male gamete the tube cells form a long penetrating organ that is called pollen tube here you see in the e diagram also the tube cell um, elongated considerably and in f and g also here is the mature stage you see the exine and intine separate from where the tube are formed and the male gamete carrying um, with a tube nucleus uh, along with a tube to the female reproductive organ so this structure from b to um, g uh, it is the pre pollination development so that means before pollination this structure must be developed and it is uh, called pre pollination stage